Namaste. Welcome all of you in Standard 12. Welcome to Knowledge Khazana. See, this is Knowledge Khazana and I hope that you are going to get a huge Khazana of knowledge from here. First of all, congratulations for entering in Standard 12. As you have entered in Standard 12, you have successfully stepped one step ahead towards your success. And I am very happy that you have chosen information technology that is IT as your optional subject. You are very lucky for selecting IT. Why I said very lucky? Because this is the time, these are, this is the current days and the future is going to be exclusively only of information technology that is of IT. See, these days are the days of the lockdown. All of the world is sitting at home. All of us are watching the news on the TV, television. All of us are on using different kinds of medias and getting aware and getting the news of whatever is going on in the current days. That is the current affairs. And how we are getting the news? Are you aware? This is all the magic of information technology. Due to IT, see IT is playing a very vital role in providing the data to these media channels. To this, and these media, media channels, they provide us the data, they broadcast the data. So, Maharashtra board, HSC board has designed this syllabus very effectively and efficiently. They aim to equip the students the knowledge, skills and attitude to become productive employees in the areas of computer science and technology. So, you are going to get the skills and competencies to enter in the world of upcoming job market. This syllabus provides you all with the foundation of higher studies. Information technology is of the most significant growth analytics for the Indian economy. Do you know why? As the data we are getting from different media medias, who provides the data? It's the role of information technology only who provides the data. So, let's have a bird's eye view on what syllabus we are going to learn in standard 12. Basically, the syllabus which is there, the page which is there in front of you is of string science. Okay. So, some of the features, some of the tools are used for all of them like commerce, science and arts. Many tools like for example, HTML5, JavaScript are used for all of us. Now see, in standard 11, all of you were about, about, uh, aware about the HTML. All of you have learned to design the web pages, the websites. You will learn to design the websites using HTML, that is hypertext, hypertext markup language. And now, in this year, you are going to introduce with HTML5. What is this 5? So, you are going to learn some extra advanced features in HTML5. Next is JavaScript. Using JavaScript, you are going to make interactive web pages and you can do whatever you want in the web pages using JavaScript. You can write the codes in JavaScript. New and interesting thing that they have added in the syllabus is PHP. See, see using PHP, what is PHP? First, first of all, PHP is a coding language that is personal home page. It is a coding and most popular worldwide use server side scripting language. So you are going to learn the PHP and design the websites. One more thing, very interesting thing is IoT. So what is IoT? IoT is Internet of Things. See, the example which is very well known to you is of, for example, Smart Lightning smart locks, smart traffic signals. What are this smart? This smart technology is the integration of physical devices like uh, home appliances, vehicles and software technologies etc. Using those devices, see for example smart ba band, smart watch, smart TV. These all are the integrations of softwares and technologies. So you are going to learn this internet of things that is the IoT. 5G. What is the 5G? 
5G for generation. This is the fifth generation of cellular network technology. We are going also going to get equipped with 5G technology. Next, cascading style sheet. That is the CSS. Using CSS and by learning CSS, you are going to get the knowledge of how uh, decent web pages can be prepared, can be made. One more thing is artificial intelligence. That is AI. AI is an area of computer science that emphasizes on creation of intelligent machines that work and react like humans. For example, uh, these days as we are watching the news on the television that many instruments have been designed by different software companies, different uh, AI type of companies, they are used, they are being extremely helpful in the hospitals, in the medical area. Uh, the very well known example of AI for you is like Alexa. See, see how we uh, how we like Alexa. So, like uh, Alexa is an example of is an example of artificial intelligence because it re reacts like human beings and works like human beings. So, artificial intelligence is going to be a very demanding skill in the future days. See, SEO. What is SEO? See, after creating of the web pages, you have to upload them. And after uploading the web page, everybody wants that his web page must be seen, must be visited by everybody. So, if we want our website to be visited by many people, most of the people, what should be done? For, for that, we should know, we should understand how to rank the website. So, using SEO, that is search engine optimization, you are going to learn how to rank the website so that it should be seen, visited by many people. Then, PHP. Put PHP we have seen, that is the server-side scripting language. So, there are many, many tools and techniques, systems, settings you are going to learn and make yourself a very brilliant student in information technology. I wish you all the best and pave the way to the peak of success. Now, let's start with our syllabus. So, this is the syllabus design bar. HSC board. This is the competency statement for information technology. So, what did they expect basically from you to create the awareness and acquire knowledge about new technologies, acquire in-depth knowledge about technologies related to AI, IoT, 3D, printing, 5G, etc. To enable the students to think and create interest in emerging technologies from career point of view, acquire knowledge about e-commerce, e-governance to understand these features, logical skills based on the logical knowledge and understand the concept of e-commerce, HTML5, scripting language. One of the example I forgot to give you of e-commerce. See, very well known what we are doing in these lockdown days, we are using different sites. But before that, what were we doing? We used to order many things from Amazon, Flipkart. What is this? These are the e-commerce sites only. Commerce done using the internet, using the electronics is called as e-commerce. E-governance. See, for example, these days when we are sitting at home, many of the things we are doing using the internet. Government is like getting our PAN card, Aadhaar card, all these things. You are paying our taxes using internet. So these are this is this comes all this comes under e-governance. So after theory, what you are going to do in the practicals? You are using going to use and inculcate the web designing skills and different tags. You are going to become a confident website designer. You are going to become a programmer. Okay, and you are going to your skills of PHP. You are going to learn how the how to uh, the server-side scripting can be done and connectivity can be done with of the database using PHP. As the websites which you visit, you are, you are going to learn to create the same websites. You are going to develop the skills in handling accounting packages, former students basically, different uh, accounting reports for the former students again, recording and manipulating audios for the art students, audio mixing for the art students, 